Hey guys, I'm LB, and we have another request from Flooper. This is Fluctuation by Gigopler. <laughs> no description as it seems, or there is one that made me laugh, but uh, yeah. Let's get started. Reverse funnel right from the get-go. Button that does something that I can't even see right now. I do not know what that goes to, but it's got X signage on it. That laser receiver goes to... this fizzler, I'm assuming? Probably. Yes, it does. Can't really do much with the funnel right now, we can pull ourselves over there if we so desired. And then we'd have to use that to get back. That button looks like it goes to something in there. Yeah, it goes to that fizzler from the looks of things. Ah! That fizzler requires both that button and that button. I see now. Ooh, interesting. So we can... we can do this if we want to, but... I don't actually see much of a reason to do that right now. I guess it does kinda line up with that portal surface, right? That laser looks like we could orient the portal however we like. Yeah, so we could use the top side or the bottom side of the portal for the laser. Good news. What do we have around here? Interesting. <laughs> So we have a fizzler that we could just walk around, which tells me that this is going to be used with the funnel. Interesting. Well, we might as well get started, right? Let's point this towards the nearest signage. There we go. Put our portal... think... think like this, I think it's backwards from how we're used to it. Yeah, I think we have to do it this way, and it'll actually come out of the bottom. Come on. Alright, I can't be a perfectionist about that. Let's just get going. Yeah. It's completely backwards from how you would expect. Like, from here you would think it's going through the top side, because... If you look at it and you think about it, you move the portal up, and then as soon as it's... As soon as it's a flat ceiling, suddenly... It's backwards. It drives me crazy that it works that way, but that's how it works. <laughs> Right, so, we hit the wrong thing. There we go, we hit the right thing now. So that gets us access to this laser cube, right? I think... How are we actually gonna get out of here, though? That's a slight problem. Hmm... I suppose we could go up there, funnel the cube up to ourselves, Oh, but we won't be able to see that portal surface if we're up there. Hmm. I'm actually not sure what to do at this stage. Are we gonna want to try and get up there, perhaps? No, that's behind grading. We couldn't even get up there if we wanted to. Not without the funnel. We can do that, at least. Sort of helps, maybe? Not really? Doesn't seem to be very helpful, honestly. Hmm. Oh, that's the exit. Okay, so that's- that's for much later, then. At some point... Is there a second cube somewhere? How is this working? We have this cube. Is there a second cube dropper? I don't see one. Am I missing something? Cause we have a button there, and a button there that are both required to a deactivate this fizzler. Yet, this fizzler is only for use with a funnel, which means that it's only for use... ...with... Hold on a sec. If we're standing there, and the cube is there, we could... ...somehow... I guess if the cube is aimed towards... that? From there? Maybe. Then from there we can shoot a portal to there. Maybe that's what that's for. Or maybe it's for that? No, that's... that's for up there. It's 
It's not exactly clear to me, honestly. Hmm. Apparently we only have the one cube. There we go. Hmm. How do we get the cube out? How do we get the cube out? That is a good question. Hmm. Yep, definitely requires both buttons to be pressed at the same time. And this is set up so that we can't, like, walk with the laser cube, so we're not gonna use that stupid ninja move. Hmm... I do not know just yet. I wonder what this portal surface is for. Oh, it lines up with the button there. Ooh, interesting. Of course, the problem is we can't even get the cube out in the first place. Hmm. I think... I'm going to need to think on this one for a bit. Just a sec. So... I can do this much, and this lets me get the cube out in this direction. But when I have the cube out in this direction, there's not much else I can do. I guess I can move it over there with the funnel, but... I mean... Then what am I gonna do about that? Right, I do have that portal surface I can consider using. Hmm. Yeah, let's- let's consider that. <laughs> That's interesting. Right, let's- let's take the cube over here, and see if we can get this working at all. There we go. So if I point this approximately there-ish... That should work, right? I believe so. So now we head back and redo everything in here? Right? Yeah, you gotta reshoot this carefully. Ooh, there we go. Close enough. I almost touched the laser there. Uh, no, I need to shoot this portal surface. There we go. So that is something worth considering. We can do that. Right, but we need to be physically there is the issue. Hmm. I suppose once we're over here, we can shoot a portal behind the cube there, right? The problem is, I need to be able to do that first. Hmm. But what if, what if I do this? Ah, I can put myself up through here. Clever, I like that. So yeah, now I'm through here. And now I can do this. Uh, there we go, that. Excellent. Alright, here goes nothing. We can do this now. To what avail? How does this help? I can shoot a portal... on one of those portal surfaces. Well, here's the thing, without the button, I can still shoot the top one just fine. It's clearly this one... that I supposedly need to be able to shoot, but I don't see why.
Hmm. I don't see why. I can do that much at least, but how does that help me? Cause I can't get the cube back, I just have to leave it there. And there's no way for me to go through a portal surface right now. And if I were standing on that button, there'd be literally nothing I could do. It's a very isolated area, definitely the cube just needs to be there. I am not clear... on the concept here. I call this glasses in the way, so as you're filling yourself up, you can't, like, strafe over and get to there, cause that would just- that would just end the map. <laughs> cause we wanna go up top, and then pull ourselves over there. Which means we want this disabled. Can we do that while we're standing in here? Oh, we can. Didn't even consider that. Yeah, but the thing is... The thing is... Oh, we can get the cube inside here now! Ah! Well, there we go, that's what I was missing! I like this puzzle a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my, uh, favorites. There we go. Yeah. We can take the cube, and now we can just point it there indefinitely. Ta-da! Yeah. Yeah, that trivializes everything. We're done! Hooray! Very nice work, Gopler. Thank you for the request, Looper. I very much appreciate it. Yay! Alright. Yeah, I like that. A very clever puzzle. I'm gonna request that to knock if Flooper hasn't done so already. But anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!